Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's March 19th, 2020, the Feast of St. Joseph. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A Texas bishop is clarifying he is not suspending liturgies in his diocese. Bishop Joseph Strickland of the Diocese of Tyler tweeted yesterday, quote, Holy Mass in the Diocese of Tyler and many other dioceses is not canceled. I'm instructing priests to celebrate Mass privately for the faithful at least once every day, offer adoration, hear confessions, and more. We who know our Lord is really present must share this truth. Police in Italy are kicking people out of churches who attempt to attend Mass. New video from a live-streamed private Mass in Rome shows police officers interrupting the Sunday liturgy, where about 15 Catholics were in attendance, turning them out of doors, claiming they were violating local ordinances against public gatherings. Italy has been hit especially hard by the pandemic, with a death toll of nearly 3,000 and growing. A rift is growing between a group of Maronite Catholics in Lebanon who wish to receive communion on the tongue versus on the hand. After the Maronite Church made Holy Communion in the hand compulsory starting on March 4th, a group of traditional Catholics at St. Nicholas Maronite Church in Ajaltun insisted on their right to receive on the tongue. The bishop has since pushed back, ordering them to receive in the hand out of obedience. While critics note he's the one in disobedience to the universal norm of the church, and the right guaranteed to the faithful. While churches, restaurants, sports arenas, and schools are closing around the world owing to coronavirus, abortion mills remain open for business. And some abortion population control advocates are taking full advantage of the pandemic, taking to social media to insist women still need access to abortuaries during the COVID crisis. Critics note that about 2,300 babies are killed every day through abortion a number that vastly eclipses the number of deaths from coronavirus. The Pachamama activist has taken a turn for the worse and needs more prayers. Alexander Shuguel shot to international renown last year after taking pagan idols from a Rome church and pitching them into the Tiber River during the controversial Amazon Synod. He's been hit hard by the coronavirus and after seeming to recover, is now once again struggling. Catholics are being asked, in addition to praying rosaries, also to fast and to pray to St. Michael the Archangel. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch the Vortex today. Michael asks, what are we learning? God bless you.